in the year 2065, war destroyed our world. In our desperation, we searched the stars for a new home. And just when we thought we'd found one, we realized we were not alone. We have the most important mission. We must not fail. We are the last. And why, I hear you ask? Life. Survival is built into the very genome of every living thing to endure, to evolve, at any cost. For billions of years, the planet Earth was home to many beautiful and wonderful creatures, all living in harmony with their environment. It includes, of course, the human race, the so-called masters of their fate, the dominant species who, over millions of years of evolution, reshape their environment for their every need. That was until seven years ago, the year 2065. Because unfortunately, that was the year our beautiful planet was destroyed in a nuclear war that lasted just 67 minutes. The bombs dropped so fast that no one had time to say goodbye, to pray, or to call their loved ones. The world's population barely knew a war had started. But in the blink of an eye, our home was gone. The few humans that survived the post-apocalyptic world fled in scout ships to all the known corners of the galaxy, looking for a new planet to call home. I am on one of those scout ships. For all I know, we could be the last. When we received the signal from the Pegasus, we altered our course headed for what would become our new home. The Pegasus sacrifice meant that humanity could start afresh and build a future. Knowing that we are not the last. All right, I'm removing the last screw now. Make sure you keep a hold of it. Relax, man. These are steady hands. I just don't want to lose any if we can help it. Yeah, there's already enough screws loose around here. Michael, are you disparaging the sanity of certain crew members on board? Or are you making libelous insinuations about the stability of my ship? Your ship? <laughs> Fuck you, man. This ship's three hard as mine. <laughs> whoa, 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 flyboy. Anybody can point this crate in a direction and press the button mark go, but it takes a genius, and let's not forget, Mike, I'm a genius. To keep her A moving and B from falling apart, all right? That makes a mind. Sorry to interrupt you ladies, but this crate, as you so elegantly call it, Pete, is mine. Captain, whose ship is it? John's ship. Good girls. Now, how much longer on this work? I'm just installing the new valve now. Copy that. Quick as you can, gentlemen. I want engine started inside of an hour. There's a dust cloud headed this way that'll require more than a valve being fixed if it hits us. Understood, sir. Moving double quick. Where were we? Let me just make sure he's not still listening. Captain? Okay, yes, where were we? This ship, Mike, is mine because I'm the one that keeps it falling apart every time. Somebody called Mike takes us too close to a star or through an asteroid belt or into a black hole or whatever it is you joyriders do when you're fumbling at those controls. Oh, well, she may not be falling apart, but you sure ain't the one out here fixing her right now. Well, delegation of duties is part of my job, you see. There's no point in risking me going outside to flick some plasma valve when I can talk you through it, Mike. This is a job a seven-year-old could do. Oh, well, next time, what's your send Lila? The suit's too big for that. Besides which, we're supposed to only send expendable members of crew outside? Oh, fuck you and your expendability, man. Without me, we don't fly. That's so weird, because I think the captain and the co-pilot are taking the next two pine shifts. Is, is that right? Hey, no one flies like I do. All right, I'm making an art form. Anyway, Mr. Important, I'm ready to put this new valve in and get the fuck back inside so I can kick your ass. Well, now, there's a the for me. Okay, you need to see that the corners are all lined up. Make sure the grooves match too. That way you will know that you don't have it in back to front. Have you got the manual in front of you? I thought you were a genius. Screw the screws back in and reseal the panel and then you're done, all right? I'll, I can run a pressure test on that. Oh, wait till I'm clear of this section before you run any pressure tests. Don't worry, relax. There's nothing going to blow you off and push you deep into space. As long as you've done a proper job. Warning. Pressure must be released in the helium tanks. <laughs> Use one of the spares. You got me any of these left? After 
Seven years, mate, don't ask. Okay. All right, sorry again, man. Hey, what's the dinner tonight? <sighs> mate, it's your favorite. Oh, yeah? Steak, potato salad, and a side of onion rings? It's my lucky night. You bet. Edward's pulling out all the stops. We're all grateful for last night's feast, you see. Hatch is filled. Heading back to airlock. Mike to the bridge. Go ahead. Jane, I finished doing Pete's job for him. Coming back in. Copy here. Sorry, potted. Mike is now back on board, and the airlock is sealed. Firing it up. Good job, boys. Whereas the Pegasus flies through space, the submarine flies through water. Do you have a submarine? Me? No. But I have fixed a few. What else is there in the ocean? In the ocean? There's lots of things in the ocean. Did I tell you about the coral reef? I didn't. Wow. Well, the coral reef is a big, beautiful underwater garden. A million different colors. All stretching out for miles and miles, and you can explore it with all the fish. Can we watch the tonight? You said that was about the sea. <laughs> I said that was about. It is about the sea. Yeah, but I got a big, I got a kind of a feeling that Haley's not gonna like me showing you jaws. <laughs> we could keep it a secret, but only because you're my favorite shipmate. Got it? Can you have school to be? Yeah. You sure? Haley. It is now time for Lila's school lesson. She is currently with Pete in engineering. Please let me know if you would like me to remind her. I found your last lesson on human history particularly interesting. Control substance blocker code accepted. Medical Officer Haley Matthews. First of Unit 4 is low sluggish. Kicking in two seconds after the others. I'll run a signal check. I need a test signal to units 8 through F. How was your walk outside? Nice weather? Oh yeah, the breeze was nice. Another average day at work, huh? Every day is an average day. Not today it isn't. Oh yeah? Why's that? Today is someone's special day. What do you mean? Happy birthday. How the hell did you remember? It's my dad. Or it would be my dad tomorrow. You let it slip last year, it just was stuck. Don't worry, I haven't reminded anyone. God forbid we should celebrate something. A year's passing isn't something I particularly want to celebrate. Oh, no problem, old man. I'll just take the present back. Oh, no, no, I didn't say I didn't want the gift. What is it? Well, half the fun is in the surprise. Okay. Better not be something that's going to jump on and bite me in the face. Here goes the surprise. You made a cake? You made a cake? Actually, I got Haley to make it. I didn't want to waste the ingredients fucking up after the first dozen times. It's part of a cookery class for Lila. Actually, this is a gift from Lila and Haley. Hey, I commissioned the work. Without me, that cake wouldn't even exist. Will there be a work going? Probably not. I don't think the planet we're heading to is even habitable. Everyone else says that I will be the one that has an atmosphere and everyone else will come here. Well, everyone else is trying to not make you worry. What have I always told you? Truth. Right. He always tells you the truth, doesn't he? Because I will never lie to you. Now, don't you have some studying for Haley to do? Okay, can you ask for Haley to say you have it seen me? Of course I will. Only because you're my favorite member of crew. I guess I can lie to everyone else. Oh. Oh. 
hope that doesn't include me, Mr. Burke. Close enough. Engineer never lies to his captain. You might exaggerate sometimes just so you appreciate the miracles he works down here. Good stuff. Now you can fix the oxygeneration units on C deck. The other units are working overtime to compensate, and if they start burning out, then the minor problem of breathing becomes a major issue. Especially when you waste oxygen by using welding equipment. They're not going to burn out for one. I replaced the knackered unit with the one from the escape pod. So we're all okay there. You can't use the unit from the escape pod. First, it's not big enough to replace the unit that serves a whole deck. And second, it's from the escape pod. If any of us ever need it, we won't survive more than a few minutes in there. Oh, you got your eye on it, have you? Oh, that's not even funny. Yeah, enough, gentlemen. Pete, I know you have a lot to do right now, but Edward's right. That's right. You need to put the generator back on the pod where it belongs, and I need the one on level two fixed in the next 24 hours. Otherwise, you can go into the pod and breathe some oxygen for the rest of us. <laughs> yes, boss. Anything else? Sure, we'll all be quite hungry soon. It is your night to prepare dinner, isn't it? Oh, it's such a great day. Well, the plasma overload did more than screw the valve. Generosity knows no bounds. Yeah, can I get that box back? I may need that again next year. It's mine. You gave it to me. Thanks. Uh, there are crumbs in that. I want in. All right. I guess. There Thank you. Go. you. Mm -hmm. there. Delicious. Mmm. I did good, right? Oh, that is good. Oh, you, you got a little right here. Yeah? No, no. I'll get it. Right. Oh, just trying to... You're hitting on me. What? You're on totally hitting on me. No, you had something. That is a move. That is totally it's a move. It's not a move. Oh, come on. You think I don't know a move? I'm using a ship and I don't know when to move it? Come on. Okay, look. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. All right. I'm going to allow this. Come here. Hey, is this guy not done already? Negative. We have received communication. That far out? It is from the Utah. What do they say? It's encrypted. Captain's eyes only. Shit, somewhere they were headed, it would take how long? I'm assuming they stayed on course of their flight plan. That message would have been sent four months the ago. The only ship with that kind of communication range and a call that takes that long to get through, it's got to be important. I think you know it. It's not like a tight rope for me since we left. I'm trying to balance maintaining the systems with keeping enough in reserve. I see, I'm getting a bit of extra efficiency. I know. I know. Basically, Captain, the, the engine's working twice as hard as she should. I, I'm burning up antimatter like there's no tomorrow. I should constantly keep me around the heat. Captain, we don't have enough antimatter now to make the return journey. We can get there just fine. We just can't make it up. You sure? 100%. Pegasus, confirm my findings. Findings confirmed, Pete. There is presently not enough antimatter to return to the Earth's solar system. No. no. Hope is what keeps the ship going. I, I don't want to rob them. I'm going to stay up. I'm running that out faster than I'm running that screws. <laughs> Captain, we have received a transmission from the Utah. It is encoded. Captain's eyes only. Something turn up, but always does. Yeah. I need you to keep this between us two, okay? Yeah. Attention, all crew. Edward is delighted to announce that dinner is ready. If you would all like to make your way to the mess hall. I hope you all enjoy your dinner. Thanks. Always. Always. Nobody will want anything left. And I eat for the I will always be with you. I'll teach you much. It's the most important thing for us. The future of humanity. 
Final run back to the sea. Lucky bastard. Right? I, listen, I know it's not good news, guys, but we still have a mission to do. It just means that we're going to be the ones who get to discover the new Earth. Seven right. years wasted. Fourteen years when they get back. Everyone knows this is for a lottery. Some people got journeys twice as long. Some people got trips for one year. They weren't even out of Tom's range of the fate. I could not be on one of those fucking ships from this one. I think we all would have loved that. The longer the mission journey, the more chance there is going wrong, and the less chance there is of getting back. Everyone knew that. Everyone still knows that. They're here. Right. Agreed. We're looking yeah. good for an old ship. Come on. No, right? yeah. That's cold comfort for someone who couldn't make the choice seven years ago. Seven years more of life this way than she would have had otherwise. What life? How can you say that? She's got more goodness in her little finger than you've got in your entire body. Oh. Well, that goodness is going to wither on the vine and turn into hey, God's no, no, let's let's wait, 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 as long as we have a mission, guys, we have hope, okay? There's no reason to believe this planet is not the right one, okay? It's in the habitable zone. Edward, all of your long-range scans have been encouraging, haven't they? So far. A little bit of elaboration? Yeah, can you, uh, give us more here? Well... Long-range scans have shown anything not habitable, but it's still a long shot. Uh, we won't know until I send down the probe. Statistically, though, it's unlikely that ours or any of the other ships are going to succeed. Uh, what the hell? We can cultivate our own food, and we got water recycle. We just turn this ship around and head back. We will survive. I'm going to go back to you. Until the oxygen Probably breaks here. down. I'm repairing those right now, Edward. And then we slowly suffocate to death. Is this being encouraging? Well, I'm being Edward. I'm just saying that's the situation. And I'm just saying, rain in the negativity. we still got a job to do. In fact, your job became the most important. I've got a point, Edward. Once we get there, I'm going to need to go all over the telemetry. We only got one probe. Looks like you finally became useful. Fuck you. Half seconds now. Uh, hmm? Can't get back to the bridge. She's probably getting bored flying herself. I'll go. Why are you wanting more food? No, I, I, I'm done. I'm not hungry anymore. Guys, we're almost there. You know, I do wonder though about the Utah. 
and how many other ships have been lost. It must have happened to some. I just hope it wasn't the ones that were on their way to a habitable world. If someone does find something, it's seven years back, we'll scoff them until they be heading towards the new earth. Jimmy. What's up, sweetheart? Can I watch a movie tonight with Pete? <laughs> Not tonight. We've got big day tomorrow, so I need you to get some proper sleep. And no sneaking around the ship, you know, before Jerry gets grumpy if we wake him up. Oh, all right, that's it. I'm gone. <sighs> They were great people. They were the best kind of parents you could have because they loved you very much. But they didn't leave you. They, they didn't leave you. They saved you when they couldn't save themselves. You were too young to remember. There was a lot of confusion when people left Earth. Some people got left behind that really shouldn't have. There wasn't enough room. Did they die? I know they wanted to find a new home, and that's why they gave you to me when you were just this big. And now you're all big and grown up. I don't think I could carry you now like I could back then. So I'm going to do my best. You know? I'm going to find you a new home. It's going to be all right. You and me. Good night, Amy. Good night, Amy.
What did you say? That they loved her and they wanted her to be here. And one day you're going to have to tell what happened. I know. Not today. She's too young. I really thought that you talked to the one. I mean, I know anyone of you has been the one, but you should really make a good set. Come have a better chat with mother. Just focus on our mission. If you keep thinking about all the others, you'll go crazy. Someone will find a place. Whoever does is going to be remembered. Like the first people to fly or walk on the moon or Mars. No one forgets the name. No one is going to forget the first people to find the next alien world. Especially if there's something memorable to say. Jay, do you mean like Neil Armstrong's One Small Step? Yeah. Although if I knew, I was going to be the first person to walk on a new world. I saw my first line in the high spitter. <laughs> You're kidding. No. Sing a jingle? Say an advertising slogan? You remember forever. You're worth a fortune. You know different to be wearing brand I'm pretty sure most of the advertising executives burned up in the war. You'll have to settle for something profound. Something profound? Mm. Girls, although Neil Armstrong said his words just came to him and were never pre-written, after that mission, NASA pre-wrote many speeches, like James Church's speech, for when he first walked on Mars. There were many not used, and all of them in my library. I will select some for you to read as inspiration and send them to your personal library. I'm thinking about having sex with Pete. Does he know this? No. Or at least, I haven't told him. I keep be up for it. Yeah, he's a man. I really miss that feeling of a man on top of me. Why Pete out of interest? Just get the impression he try very hard. Makes sense, Pete, from getting together. You're the nearest thing to parents to Lila. I don't want to get together with Pete. I'm just joking. Forget it. Hmm. Fair enough. Just let him fix the oxygen unit first. We might be engaging in auto association. Tomorrow, we are entering the target system. When we get close enough, we're going to launch the probe. We're going to start receiving telemetry. Edward, you want to take over? Well, we're looking for two priorities. One is an atmosphere comparable to ours. Nitrogen, oxygen, argon. And the other is the presence of war or ice. Those are the two essentials. On the would-be-nice list is an existing ecosystem with edible flora and fauna. What about animals? Yeah, we're expecting aliens down there. Oh, just a bit of poultry would be nice. Uh, Non-deadly indigenous creatures are on the um, unlikely list. Once the probe is launched, we just keep taking continuous readings until we get a conclusive result. But guys, if the results come back positive, we 
send a signal back to the fleet before we land. And if the results read negative? I have it, well, then we move on. That's all. That's the fleet. Good plan. All right, guys, look. Stay sharp. We're almost there, okay? Just have a good day. How are you feeling? Not particularly great. I wonder if it has less to do with the illness now. I always considered the possibility that I'd die on this. Nothing certain, Jerry. Not even sure if the species deserves a second chance. We just make the same mistakes. What mistakes wouldn't you make again? Trust in the Chinese. Very big. No, very true, you mean. Perhaps for your generals. Forgive me. And I thought you were one of the last of mankind. Homeless. Running around aimlessly like me. No, 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 no. Anyway, thanks. I'm sorry about the depressing box. Hang on, let me give you some extra pain that you're quite obviously in. Now, this stuff is... Medical officer Haley Matthews. Pegasus, who apart from me has access to the control substance locker? Access is restricted to yourself and the captain. Your last access was 14 hours ago. I'm sorry. Sorry I found out? Yes. Look, Jerry. If you're in this much pain, you should have said, I would have given it to you in the correct dose. I took it until the pain goes, that's the correct dose. You die if you take too much of that stuff. Not too much of a threat to a guy who has a terminal illness. You could have news. And how those years, I'm sure they'll be. Jerry. No, look, Haley. I assure you, dying is the last thing I intend. Coming to get you, Bob. What are you sneaking up on me for? This old piece of shit. Are you drunk? 
Why don't you ever watch anything decent? Where'd you get that bottle? Have you been hiding that from us? I haven't had a real drink in 12 months. I don't care. I really don't care about you or your pal. I just wish you'd all fuck off and die and leave me in peace. Why don't you go and speak this off? He's wasting your time! Hey! 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 Oh! Oh! Hey! Mike, it sounded like you said code orange. Confirmed, sir. You heard me correctly. Just hit our scans now. Edge of our range. Doesn't look like she's moving. You have a visual? I will if I swing us. All stop. Meet me at the ops deck. What is it? Are we about to explode? Are we on fire? Running out of air? Is this someone pregnant? Will you kindly inform me? What is happening? We have a code orange. What the fuck is a code orange? He has another ship out there. I almost didn't believe it. I still can't. Believe it, sir. It's real. Pegasus, do we know who it is? The ship does not have a functioning beacon or signal transponder. It is a standard PT-32 design. Seems us. It is the most common type of scout ship. But well, one of ours off course? The only ship near was the Utah. There's no way it could be one of ours going off course. Pegasus, telescope. Coordinates 87, vector 12A. Zoom. Enhance. It's a Chinese ship. How the hell are they here? They sent out the same scans we did. Maybe they launched a couple of months ahead of us. Which begs the question why they stopped. They're right on the edge of the system. Why not continue? Maybe they sent a probe to the planet. Proof it wasn't viable. They just figured it wasn't worth it. Maybe they're making repairs. Maybe they're dead. Hey! Maybe we should just stop speculating, all right? So we have a little bit more information right now. All we know is that there's a ship out there. Mike, resume course. Let's swing us right by. We can get a closer look. Edward, us. Wake everyone up. So what if they're hostile? Okay, then that's a possibility. I think we're too close to stop now. I think we keep going. That ship could have every spare part we'd ever need. It can make our lives like a hundred times easier. Come on. Exactly, and there are certain medical supplies we seem to be running out of quicker than we should be. Captain, whatever happened on that ship, stop them. It could happen to us. Oh, oh okay. Or, or the information on that ship can help us for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahead. And the feeling is that sound. I see no good. You're treading a dead man's footsteps. Oh, what if they need our help? Oh, fuck that. Let's complete our mission. Then we can circle back and investigate if we have to head back to the fleet. We can't All right. do that. Boy, that's sure. The new words are just around the corner. You haven't even set out the boat. I mean, what the hell? You had some revelation from God? We can't make it home. What? Captain. The plasma overload last week but 12 cubic centimeters. We used the reserve. Pete? They are in touch. What the fuck? Okay, listen, we need antimatter to make it back. That ship may have what the hell? You can let us Alright, this is not a democracy, Jerry. We are boarding that ship. We are going to help them or ourselves or both. The, the, the information on that computer is critical to us. We need this. We don't have a choice, guys. Captain, all attempts to hail the unidentified PT-32 have gone unanswered. I cannot sync with their AI system. 
which is unusual. It may be offline. Our approach course is set, and we will be ready to dock within the hour. Guys, get in there. We're going to head straight to the computer area in the bridge by the link up. And I want you to go to engineering and figure out if they got any fuel left. Okay, Jane. Right there, Lock. We're ready. Copy that. Good luck, boys. Hull integrity of the unidentified PT-32 is at 62%. Protocol recommends we seal the airlock and retract the docking corridor while the away team complete their mission. Correction, hull integrity of the unidentified PT-32 is now at 61%. Chinese. I'm assuming their system readouts are the same as ours, in which case it looks like we got good atmosphere pressure. Environment's a little hot, but we do have oxygen, we should be able to breathe. So we can take these off? Yeah, sure. After you. Okay, I need you to get the main engine power back on and get the computer back online. Okay, I'm going to see if I can access their logs, figure out what happened. Head to engineering, see if there's anything that we can salvage. Mike, I need you to figure out how and when they got here and how long they've been here.
How's your Chinese? It's been a while since I needed it. Yeah, same here. Wow. Well, at least the shifts are the same, so the controls are identical. They all made in Taiwan. Now, Haley speaks some Chinese. I'm hoping she can translate them, but we got to find the logs first. No crew. No sign of life. Is this what happened to her? I think I've got something. Come with the transport logs. Not good. All the file headings in Chinese. I'm gonna have to go through them one by one. Okay. Upload them to Pegasus. We'll get Haley started on the translation. Okay. Now. okay. What? Something else is on the ship. What? Someone. investigate the loud noise. I'm going to swing back, grab some of my friends, and we can all go and take a look. I'll take the information. Offline, great. Okay, we're blind here, guys. We have to do a sweep. Yeah, 
Jesus, he's only a kid. Probably Pete's six foot monster. You know you ever did this. I tripped. Hopefully he's got some answers. I got him. wondering, if something happened to you, who would you want to take command of the ship? You know, in the event of something going bad, who captain actually cheap was one of them. I know the answer to that already. Well, what I was saying is I assumed it would be, you know, the person that knows the most about the ship. I would base it completely on looks, guys. Bridge, come in. Bridge here. What's happening, Captain? Uh, we found a survivor, a small Chinese boy. Yeah, Jim, but the airlock's not working. Can you uh, unlock it from your end? There's no problem this end. Can you release the airlock? Outer airlock has been sealed. Override must be manually entered. I'm afraid that would be me. What do you mean? Captain, I locked it. In case any survivors from the Chinese ship tried to gain access to the Pegasus. Yeah, well, it's just us and a boy, so you can let us in. Can't risk it. We don't want whatever happened over there happening here. You're just going to have to stay there until we understand what's going on. Open the fucking door, Edward. Edward, it's just us. There's no risk. Open the door. That's a direct command. Captain, with you and Mike off the ship, I'm the next person in command, and I will not risk it. You guys shouldn't even have removed your helmets. We don't know what happened to the crew over there. We don't know if they got sick. You have endangered the entire mission. What? I thought he'd never shut up. Just helping Edward calm down a little, sir. Haley? Manually reversing override. Airlock open. Face my left. You know? Yeah, so that means me. You wish. You have endangered our lives by doing this. You should have left them over there to die. You know what? Better yet, you should have finished the job yourself. A child, for goodness sake. Would you happily have Lila killed just as That is different. How come? Lila is not our enemy. His people are! It's exactly that attitude that got us here in the first place. Well, you know what? Like it or not, we are here. And his people are after the same thing we are. You know, I highly, highly doubt that two flags are going to be planted in the same sand together. Haley, what can you tell me about it? Not great. He's between four and six years old. Malnourished, for sake of hygiene. Severely traumatized by whatever happened on that ship. Or the sheer fact that he's been there for however long. He's safe now. I'll talk to him when he wakes up. Captain, I have Pete wanting to speak with you from the Dragon. Go ahead, Pete. Captain, I'll check the antimatter supply over here. There's hardly anything left. Nowhere near what we need to get home. You sure? 100%. Checked it twice. Looks like they didn't leave anything for the trip home. Copy that. I'm sending Mike over now. Strip down everything that's not nailed down. As soon as you guys are done, we're heading out. You happy? Fucking wonderful! Can you believe all the cool stuff they had in there? You definitely check all the reserves, right? I checked it, and I checked it twice. We just accepted, but this is a one-way trip. Can you believe something we don't know? Yeah. the planet? Claim it before the Western is there? <laughs> Alright, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, good idea, mate. I just removed all the ice cream. I can feel the heat already. What's gonna happen? Well, mate, in a couple of minutes, the ship won't be here. I'll see you back on board, all right? You hang back for a bit. Hey, man, that's not funny. I think you would have made me captain eventually. <laughs> hey, what is that? You couldn't even get air to open the door. Man. That was because I was letting you, like, audition oh, for the oh, role. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was being in trophy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. What? I've my pad box. Oh, oh, forget it. We ain't got time. I'm just going to move. I thought you said the ship was going to blow. In 10 minutes. No, I'll meet you on the break. I won't be a minute. All right, be quick. I will.
Pete's Bridge. Go ahead, Pete. Jane, the airlock's sealed again. Wait, are you still over there? Yeah, and I'd really like to get off of that now. No one over here is fixing it. Edward. I'm still out of the minivan. Pegasus, who ordered the airlock to be sealed? Jane, it was the dragon herself. Warning. Hall breach. Emergency airlock containment procedure initiated. Oh, what is that? That's sort of an explosion in the airlock. Are you still secure? Airlock hatch compromised. Hall integrity at 99% and stable. Oh, he's still over there. What do you mean he's still over there? In the other ship. He went back to get something. Now he's fucking trapped. Hey, how long do you have before that engine goes bad? About seven minutes. Okay, Pete, me. You need to get yourself into a space suit and you can space walk across. Well, it's no good. We left all the space suits and the helmets on the Pegasus for space. Okay, right, okay. Okay, Pete, listen up. I'm going to move this over close to you. You open your airlock door anyway. The explosive decompression will throw you over to us. You can survive in space for a few seconds without a suit. When he gets tossed, how do we let him back in? The outer airlock door is hanging off. If we open the inner one, we lose aperture from the whole ship. The whole ship. No, 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 guys, that's going to take too long. It's going to be manual override, and once we vent out the atmosphere, we'll blast it back. Pete! Yeah! I need you to get to the escape pod, and we'll pick you up after launch. On it! Mike. Get to the med bay, check on Edward, make sure he's still unconscious, and make sure that Haley has the boy. Jane, move us away from the ship. Mike, get a weapon. Got it. Sir, are you right? Jane, just do it. Warning, the dragon's antimatter chamber is destabilizing. Warning, Pegasus is within predicted blast radius. Generation units. They need pressure releasing every three to four weeks. Well, that's the valve blows. Too many valves there. And if you need the valves, they're actually in the maintenance company on my room. Hmm. Listen, this new, uh, you need to know some of this stuff. Uh, the uh, the Medi Bay, the emergency batteries in the Medi Bay are actually currently powering the water recycling system. Uh, so if you need the Medi Bay, the appendix was on the back of the manually switching. It's been an honor, Pete. Go back. Hey, shut up. Yeah. Nothing to apologize for. You take care of yourself, all right, man? Hey, thanks, Cam. Please come back, Pete. Oh, I want to, but I, I can't. There's been an accident.
What did I tell you, Captain? I warned you about meddling with the Chinese. No one could have predicted this would happen. Well, I'm glad that you think so. Because we just lost the only man that could keep this ship running. Fortunately now, we're in this system. I don't know how else this crate is going to keep going. change out of the suit. Jane, get us back on course. Playing log eight four seven zero. All right, I'm removing the last screw now. Make sure you keep a hold of it. Relax, man. He's a steady hand. I just don't want to lose any if we can help it. Yeah, there's already enough screws loose around here. Michael, are you disparaging the sanity of certain crew members on board? Or are you making libelous insinuations about the stability of my ship? Your ship? <laughs> Fuck you, man. This ship's sweetheart is mine. <laughs> whoa, 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 flyboy. Anybody can point this crate in a direction and press the button mark go, but it takes a genius, and let's not forget, Mike, I'm a genius, to keep her A, B, okay. and B from falling apart, all right? That makes a mind. Sorry to interrupt you ladies, but this crate, as you so elegantly call it, Pete, is mine. Captain, whose ship is it? John's ship. Good girls. Now, how much longer on this work? She's just installing the new valve now. Copy that. Quick as you can, gentlemen. I want engines started inside of an hour. There's a dust cloud headed this way that'll require more than a valve being fixed if it hits us. Understood, sir. Moving double quick. Where were we? Let me just make sure he's not still listening. Captain? Okay, yes, where were we? This ship, Mike, is mine because I'm the one that keeps it falling apart every time. Somebody called Mike takes us too close to a star or through an asteroid belt or into a black hole or whatever it is you joyriders do when you're fumbling at those controls. Oh, well, well, she may not be falling apart, but you're sure that when I have fixed her right now. Well, delegation of duties is part of my job, you see. There's no point in risking me going outside the flex of plasma valve when I can talk you through it, Mike. This is a job a seven-year-old can do. Oh, well, next time we'll just send Lila. The suits are too big for her. Besides which, we're supposed to only send expendable members of crew outside. How are you feeling? You hit me really hard. We weren't supposed to let them on board. Being regulations. Right? What? Huh? How did that happen? Can you please stop talking? Okay, okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Calm down. Do you? Security breach. Medical bay. Security breach. Medical bay. Security breach. Medical bay.
Okay. Find out what happens in the ship. And don't let him out of your sight. Or him. Does that mean I'm not hallucinating? Come on. You know better than all that. I believe that. And you can tell the other way. Great. Best of both worlds. I don't want you to survive. Okay. Mike and Edward found the flat rock. Pete. Pete was right. They didn't save anything for the return flight. They burned out everything they had to get here to get out of us. The escape pod was launched six months ago. My boy's been on his own for that long. No wonder he's so feral. You know, the weird thing is, in the weeks that followed after they launched the escape pod, the airlock opened five or six times. No ship's dock. He must have tried to kill himself, but couldn't go through with it. Captain. Go ahead. We are now within range of the planet. Edward has confirmed that the probe is ready to launch. Thank you. Tell Edward to launch immediately. Probe launched successfully. It all comes down to this. Yeah. Do you think we'll make it? Yeah, I do. I don't. for me? Can't be about the probe already. It's too early for that. We got news of another one. A Chinese probe. What about it? Uh, according to their computer, the probe was sent out a couple of hours before their escape pod was launched. Only to a different address. What do you, what do you mean a different address? 
have now. The system doesn't have just one planet in the habitable zone. It has two. They occupy the same orbit. Telescopic scans confuse the one with the other. You know what this means? Two potentially habitable planets. Is that what I said? Have we received any data transmission from the probe? After they launched it, this ship drifted out of range. The probe should have transmitted, but look. They never received the telemetry. We're a lot closer into the system, so when we launch our probe... So we should start to receive the data transmission, then? I think we will. <laughs> right now, that second planet is behind our sun. But if my calculations are right, then in a couple of days, that planet should just pop right out. We'll be in line of sight. And we'll be able to receive the transmissions from the Chinese probe. We get two rolls of the dice, gentlemen. For now... We wait. Any for your phone capture? Always. Your crew don't see it. I can feel the sadness washing over you like waves on the beach. You're thinking how old my children would be if you've got a head to have originally planned. I wonder who they would have gone with. They're hoping you. Right. She's more than short straw. Did a cruel mutiny and kill her and a child? Did she kill herself? Maybe I saw the kid as a being government means, taking different attention and sticking with her. I know what it takes to be a captain. Captain? You awake? Ah, everything's fine. Back to bed. Locker code expired. Medical officer Haley Matthews. Please enter updated access code. Locker code accepted. Captain John Dale.
you do? What the hell did you do to him? <laughs> we were drinking up. What's in a movie? Huh? We had a drink on water right there. Oh my god. Pegasus, who else has been in here? Warning. Mainframe breach in engineering. I cannot help. I'm a hell of a Damn it, I knew this was going to happen. We have to find the boy. Warning. Security breach. My program is being tampered with. The only access point is in engineering. Hey! Let me talk to you. He said he didn't do it. Yeah, of course he'd say that. Nobody was dying until he showed up. He's just a boy! Well, you know what? Mike was sleeping, and even a boy can cut a throat if someone's sleeping. And it takes a special kind of boy. Dustin. I agree. It's him. Jay, Lila Tanani. <sighs> you must know, where is she? Where is Lila? Yeah. Oh. Are you okay? Yes, we were playing hide and seek. When did you last see him? Ages ago. He was supposed to be looking for me, not hiding. Okay. What do we do with him? You know what, if the airlock was working, I'd say flush him out. We can't kill him. You know what, you people do what you want. But I'm going to tell you what, Captain, there ain't no way I'm sleeping in the same room as this kid. Anyone is liable to get his throat cut. Excuse me. Right now, we get back to work to check Pegasus is still running properly. Good morning, Captain. Edward was able to repair my mainframe, so I am very happy to be your wake-up call today. However, most of my sensors are still offline. I'm sorry. Haley? Jerry? Pegasus, A deck corridor panel 42 is ripped open. Thank you, Captain. I will alert the bridge. Jane. The captain has reconnected the wiring in panel 42 on A deck. Some of my internal sensors are now back online. All crew are accounted for, including the two survivors from the dragon. John? You wanted him. Bring him over here. What are you doing? Oh, you see, he's terrified. I, I don't care. Be careful with him. Ask him. That's an order. Ask him. I don't want to get him. I don't want to go. He 
said this man killed his crew. Hunted them, one by one, threw them out the airlock. He said he's the last. Captain, Jane has managed to get the rest of my internal sensors back online. Knowledge. Jay is the last survivor from the dragon. Also, Edward has news from the probe. Last one up. The one tied up. Tie him up. Edward, the captain has called a meeting at your request. I believe the crew is looking forward to your findings. So what exactly does inconclusive mean? It means we're unable to determine from the telemetry whether the planet is habitable or not. But that's what it's there for. I mean, you're supposed to be the expert. You are here to interpret the data. So interpret it. It's inconclusive. But what does it mean? It means that we land and find out. Why don't we just wait a few days for the planet to clear, we'll get the readout from the Chinese probe about the second planet, and then we'll know which way to head. We don't have the time. Why not? Another one of our oxygen units went down. We now have two out of four running. We're consuming oxygen faster than we're producing it. Well, how long have we got? Not long enough to wait on the data from the probe. Hey, guys. Yes, How Jerry. long and what are the chances of survival if we reduce the amount of breathers on board? No, no, no one is killing one anyone. Increase the survival we've also, probability by we've also gained an extra pair of lungs. You know, I don't see it's fair that he's breathing our air. No, we take the ship down. Prepare for entry. Check on the boy, Haley. There's a chance that if we land, we'll never be able to make it off the ground again. Okay. Captain, Jane has the Pegasus lined up and ready for landing. But I must warn you, after a seven-year journey and with all the modifications Pete has made to my systems, this won't be a smooth ride. May I suggest we wait and run a flight landing simulation? We go now. Take it. Transfer helm to manual. Confirmed. Helm is now transferred to manual. Good luck, Jane. Engaging the frequency.
Wait, no, I need you in case you can't get back off of here. Landing's the hard part. Taking off is easy. You're the captain. Your place is here. Alright. I'll seal the airlocks behind you guys. As you wrap around, it's gonna take me a few minutes. Come on, I'm gonna take time to get suited up.
fear and immediate danger, but I am afraid the antimatter engines are still down. Come on. So we have no propulsion. That is correct, Captain. Get on board. We're going to do it in three, two, one. Engine relays Whip. offline. Get back on. Go. Reboot failed. It's still down. It's still down. Okay, we're going to do it again. Four, three, two, one. Rebooting engine uh -huh. four. Edward is risk back. of okay, radiation contamination okay, we're back. Edward is dead. 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 Okay, we're back. Okay, this ends here. You okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. I just... I'm just a little tired. I... I just need a minute. Has he been here the whole time? Stay here. Warning. Antimatter levels at 2% and falling. Haley? Captain, we seem to have drained all the power taken off from the planet. As it stands, we either have enough power to send a signal to the fleet or head to the next planet. We can't do both. We're going to the planet, right, Captain? Captain? Take it really easy, Captain. We don't want to lose another crew member, do we? You killed them. No. I warned you. Bad things were going to happen if you engaged the Chinese, and I was right. Now, we're going to that planet. I don't have much time left in this universe, Captain. My God, I'm going to die with the wind in my face. Do the right thing. Protect the kids. That's funny. I thought he would have put up more of a fight than that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Where are those logs? Ah, oh, there they are. 
Send in the signal to the fleet. Signal pod launched. Main power failing. We are caught in the gravity field of the planet. Warning. We will enter the planet's thermosphere in 30 seconds due to gravity field. Pegasus. What are our chances of survival? Your chances of survival are zero. Congratulations, Captain. You have completed your mission. 